Hi, welcome to Yarn Again. My name is Teresa and today is Mary Maxim Monday where I share with you the monthly kit, subscription kit for Mary Maxim. It is $16.99 plus $4.99 shipping comes under $22 and you get everything you need in the kit to make a project of the month. They send you the instructions and all the yarn you need. They do not send you the hook, nor do they send you any darning needles you may need to tie in your ends. This is this month's kit. This is January's kit. As I film this, it's February 27th. I'm still waiting for February's kit. And this is a cute little tote bag. It was really easy to do. It took me no time at all. Just going out in the car, sitting there while I was out there. Because I do tile blankets while I'm in the house. And other and hats and such. This is a whole skein of gray, grundy, pretty yarn that I've got left. It is, let's see, number six. It is 165 meters, 66 meters, excuse me. It is very soft, machine, machine washable, and dryable. I, I don't know what. If that's the dryer, or if that's the dryer. So, it's not that, but it is that. Sorry about that. It is soft, and when we got the kit, it's new. It came with two skeins of the gray. This is what I have left of the first skein, plus the whole second skein. I must have done something incorrectly. And you got that much of the red left, and that much of the pumpkin. I did measure... The skeins get these balls are slightly different sizes. And I'm still doing the handle, so I have this much of the blue left. I use the thinnest yarn I can and I have it put on a small knitting needle knitting machine and um it does loose so you can have the stretch in it if you do a four weight yarn, you're not gonna get this stretch and malleability. So you, I suggest using a, like a sock weight or something thin. It doesn't have to be super soft, you're just holding your skeins so they don't go flying everywhere. And you don't have a mess, as this one is doing, just from sitting in here, I haven't used this one, and that's just happening. I will put a yarn sock over it when I get one made. I just didn't make one for this one yet. Because I didn't think it would do that going in and out of the bag. So, and then I got these three little balls. I have enough. I could make a smaller tote bag or something to go inside of it. Oh, a netted tote bag might be nice to go inside of this. So when I go to the grocery store, the little netted bag can go inside of this one and give me that little bit of extra bag. I might do that with the extra yarn. And here is my tote bag. And everything comes in this little plastic tote. And every tote has a little pocket inside. So you can put your pattern in there. And it's a zipper. The bigger ones have a handle. This one doesn't because it's small, but it does hold, it keeps your kit all in one spot and you don't lose anything or misplace anything. I tend to keep a hook in there as well and some scissors and a tape measure because you did have to measure this as you went along. The colors are showing brighter on camera than they are in person. They are duller in person. This is more of a dull gray in person. It's looking a little blue tint to that. There is no blue tint to that. However, I didn't think these colors would go together, but they seem to work out pretty good. And there's my handle. I have to finish, like I said, with the little stripes. Let's see those little stripes right there. To sturdy it up, I guess, to make it stronger. But here's my bag. All done. I hope you could see that. Next month, I know what it is, but I will not be giving you a spoiler here. And I am doing this with crafting, Creative Craftings with SC. He is a wonderful person to work a 
project with. He gives me help. I've been doing this since I was five, on and off. Mostly, I started up again this past summer after I took a couple years off. And um, he started crocheting in October. He wanted to make me a blanket for my birthday. So now he's doing Sophie's Choice. If you haven't checked his channel, I will be linking it down below. Again, that's Crafting Creative. Ugh, I am so sorry. Creative Craftings with SC. Scott. And you will love his channel. He's doing the Sophie's, Sophie's Universe. And it is coming out amazing. For only working in, since October. I'm very proud seeing him as mom. I'm really, really proud of him. Okay, well, this is my tote bag. I'll see you next Monday. And hopefully, I will have the next month. February's kit. Thanks again for coming by Yarn Again. I would appreciate a like, share, and subscribe. Have a blessed day.